Republican Congressman Mike Bost. He represents the district in Illinois where the shooter James T. Hodgkinson lived. The congressman says the shooter contacted his office 10 times within the last year. Congressman Bost joins me now. Sir, thank you so much for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. What was he contacting your office about? Every issue that, you know, that, that was the issue of the day. Uh, you know, there were 10 communications. Actually, nine of them were by email. One was by uh, uh, phone. And they were, he didn't agree with my positions, but they were never aggressive in nature. You know, we've looked through them. We've, we've combed through them. I mean, probably the most aggressive one was, if you, if you vote for this, we'll remember you. Well, that means to me, I'll remember you in the next election, not that something like this would happen. And we're very, very close on trying to watch uh, uh, closely because we have had times in our office that somebody crosses that line and we have to call the Capitol Police. But yesterday morning, and we were only an hour after we've learned about the, about the shooting, right after it was happening, uh, we got the call from the Capitol Police, mentioned his name to us and said, okay, what do you know about him? And I thought maybe he was still in the district. And I said, well, I, and they go, he's a shooter. Instantly is when we went back and started checking our records. Those 10 times over 11 months, he has been in contact. But like I said, they, were, they, they weren't, they, by no means were they aggressive in nature. Did they stand unhinged in any way? Like no, he was getting no. It's so strange, right? I mean, right. I know you said, you know, his calls never appear threatening, and you would have informed the Capitol Police as you exactly. have done in other instances. So, but have you ever spoken to him personally or anybody in your office? No, no. If, if it, you know, we, like many offices around the nation, since. The, this election, uh, you have your protesters that are outside. We, he may have been as part of those. We, you know, uh, we we don't know that for sure. Uh, but he was active with with the groups in the in the area, um, and and he was a political activist. So, what was your initial reaction when you heard he was from your district? Um, it was my chief that first brought it up after they he'd talked to the Capitol Police, and it was just you, your heart sinks yeah. because you're already your emotions are running wild. We were, you know, yesterday morning there was a group of us in a prayer meeting, and, and a staffer came in and said Scalise has been shot, and I said, well, he's at the ball field, and they, we know, and then things just boiled after that. So we were still right in the middle of that, including calling our spouses and children and family and telling him, oh, I'm not there, it's okay, we're trying to figure out what's going on. And then all of a sudden, I'm the first one, before even the press, they're calling me and saying, what do you, need to, what do you know about this guy? He's from your district. So, You know, we have uh, heard from other congressmen, like Congressman uh, Marsha Blackburn, Claudia Tenney from uh, New York, that they get threats routinely. Do you yeah. personally get threats? Sure, I've had them over the years. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Are they getting is... worse? Are the threats increasing in number? Um, and remember, I'm only in my second term, so mm -hmm. uh, I can't. They're worse than I had in the state house. Let's say that. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, but we've got to stop this. We, we really do. We, you know what? Uh, and I've said this so many times to the media. You know, with this job, conflict is inevitable. Combat's optional. So we're going to discuss. We're going to 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 debate. We we may even become frustrated. But we've got to show that we can work together, even if we disagree, because this system's set up for people to disagree, but still come together as a nation. We've got to stop all of this. Now, is it, is it social media? Is it the 24-hour news network? You, it, it's, a, it's a whole lot put together. Yeah. And we have to be the ones to take the lead and, and show that, look, I might disagree on this policy, but that doesn't mean... I hate you. It means right. that I disagree. Exactly. And so, so we've got to get through this because, look, I didn't vote for, for the former president. And, and you know what? I actually served with him in the state of Illinois. But it wasn't that same rhetoric and, and, and just the, 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 the gotcha. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I think with your, your former, well, when you're talking Gary, you, the gotcha moments. We've got to have governing moments. Exactly.